Hey everybody, Jeff here and welcome to update 6.0. And in 6.0, we got brand new, massive, amazing lore updates being added to Valorant. Starting off with a pretty awesome uh, email sent from Brimstone to the rest of the agents, giving congratulations and thanks to Astra, Harbor, and Sky and rewarding them saying that they did an amazing job with an impossible task of sneaking onto Omega Earth, finding Lotus, you know, the city of flowers, opening it and dealing with the agents in the Valorant Legion that were there to apprehend them. And some more interesting things about the email. It's very, very interesting. So we'll get to that in a second. But guys, we have possibly one of the best voicemails ever sent to Brimstone ever. And it was actually sent from Fade to Brimstone. And I'll tell you what, guys, the voice actress, I forget her name. I'm sorry. The voice actress that, you know, voices Fade did, I mean, probably the top three best voice actress or, you know, voice performances so far we've seen in Valorant. You can really feel the pain, anger, and fear that, like, she portrays in this. It's, it's honestly amazing. Like, it, it's so good. I can't wait to show you guys. And something I'm sure you guys weren't expecting and I wasn't expecting. You guys remember the dossiers that Fade sent to their Valorant protocol when she was the blackmailer? Well, we actually have another dossier sent, but it's not for any of the agents for Valorant, it's for Atlas, an Atlas mission dossier. I don't want to keep you guys waiting anymore, but there is another story I have to talk to you guys about, and it's about my story in Valorant Tracker. Since I've been using Valorant Tracker for almost an entire year now, literally every game I play in Valorant, I've been beginning to take it for granted. I kind of forget what it's like to not know so much about my opponents with using the in-game match tool to see who the best and worst players are on the enemy team. I would have never seen the stats that let me know which agents I played the best with and to get excited for maps to play that I thought I didn't do very well on like fracture for example apparently I do really well on fracture but I hated it at first but I actually love fracture now I take for granted now that at a click of a key bind I can bring up all the stats I would have ever wanted to know about my profile down to the last kill weapon and agent I did it with so if you want to be spoiled like I have been for the past year now download Valorant Tracker using my link in the description or the pinned comment and thank you so much Valorant Tracker for sponsoring today's video okay I'm sure you guys love that segue into the sponsor right <laughs> well all right here we have fades voicemail and trust me guys it is so good get ready sit down if you're driving pull over like you're gonna like love this when you listen to it actually hang on you know what I'm gonna do something different normally when I do these you know these update videos with voicemails I just click this and I like listen to it and react to it but sometimes the audio doesn't like portray the best and like you know sometimes it's kind of hard to hear things so i'm actually going to use the kingdom archives website and to really get like these raw audio files of this because it is that good and i don't want it to be like distorted with like the voicemail effect it puts on it okay so i moved my head out of the way so you guys can see it so trust me guys uh this is amazing it's the raw audio files like data mines here we go brimstone the nightmare came to me with a vision Different from the rest, I... I saw the walls holding our world together fall apart. I felt the wind go still. I could smell the bitterness of blood and bile. I heard small, uncertain voices crying out. And I could taste the fear. There was so much of it. Like the whole planet had fever. So I climbed. I climbed this... tall cliff. It was jagged as bone. Stretching up, dizzying, but with broken fingers, I reached the top and saw the end of our time. A silent window, stretching over the ocean, filled with dead faces. And then I woke up. Brimstone, I have seen many things in my line of work, but we must not let this come to pass. Like, holy shit! Like, holy shit! Are you guys kidding me? That was... Ooh, that is, like, on par. That has to be on par with the, like, Killjoy's voice. Like, the voice actress for Killjoy, when she was talking about Everett Lynn and how, you know, they were they were not even soldiers, they were scientists, and the pain she had in that. Like, this might top that. Like, God, I had... I literally have chills listening to this. Okay, so let's try to break this all down because obviously this is a vision that, you know, Fade had. And we know that Fade and Nightmare, they always work together and they can see some terrible things that she has seen some terrible things in her lifetime. So let's see if we can try to decipher what her vision said. It says, I saw the walls holding our worlds together fall apart. Could this be because, could this be because Harbor opened up the door uh, opened up like you know the nexus on lotus the new map with with his um with his artifact yet the alpha version of the map is destroyed that's kind of something that like brimstone's email brings up later on uh so we'll get to that in a bit 
but I wonder if that's what he means. I felt the wind of, and then she goes into just the destruction of the bitterness of blood and bile, uh, small uncertain voices crying out. So it's looking like that, you know, after she climbed up this like mountain and like her bones are, are like her fingers are breaking and it's like a sharp mountain, like the top and saw the end of our time, the end of our time. I'm really hoping that whatever fate, whatever fate saw here, uh, does not come to pass that the time of our world is ending and, oh geez, the walls holding our world together fell apart. Could that be due to Harbor opening up the Nexus with Lotus? Okay, now let's get into Brimstone's email because it kind of plays hand in hand with the Fade's voicemail and it's also pretty interesting. Okay, consequences from Omega from Brimstone. Forgive the brevity. This situation Omega needs close attention. Asher's working to understand the repercussions. You know, the repercussions of, you know, Harbor opening up the Nexus when the Alpha version of it was destroyed. And with the Nexus opening up, the energy balance wasn't there between Alpha and Omega. It was something that we discussed earlier in previous updates where Harbor and Killjoy got together and decided that, you know, possibly if Omega's Nexus was opened and Alpha's version was destroyed, a catastrophic disaster would happen nearby, uh, inside India, near you know, the Lotus City of Flowers on Alpha version because it's destroyed. It's it kind of, it's confusing, but we'll move on. Okay. So far, the original fears of an alpha impact have not been realized, but we're monitoring. The on-site team deserves major recognition. Their rapid response may have spared us the worst. You all want answers and so do I. This may take some time. So this is really starting to dive into like, is this whole fear of, you know, alpha's version being completely destroyed Will it come to light because the Nexus was opened on Omega Earth due to Harbor? And he also gives, you know, kind of recognition to Astra, Harbor, and Sky, the, you know, the strike team that, you know, did all this. With the combination of this email and uh, Fade's, you know, vision that she had, it kind of seems like that maybe something will happen negative because of this. I don't know, you know, Fade, don't, normally when she has visions, like, you know, they probably are for a reason. And, you know, co combination of it happening right when the Nexus was opened, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Okay, now let's read the Atlas dossier. I'm super excited about this one. So if you guys know who Atlas is by now, what are you doing? <laughs> but um, obviously it's like from an uh, you know, organization from Omega Earth. So we'll go ahead and read it. Okay, mission log, entrance, Lieutenant Delacroix. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Site in the Western Ghats. Okay, the Western Ghats was the region in India where, you know, Sky, Harbor, and Asher were kind of battling Atlas over there. So this is a mission report from when Sky probably went absolute ham and destroyed them. Okay, the team has arrived. Setup is on track to conclude within the hour. Our presence is being kept to a minimum per orders. We have received the Legion Ambassador's report of the latest encounter. I suspect information was omitted. I will conduct our own investigation and submit our findings. My team is mission briefed. Any alpha presence detection will be reported immediately. This is probably before Sky went absolutely like commando and killed them all. But this is interesting. We have received the Legion Ambassador's report. Hmm. Does that mean is that Brimstone for the Valorant Legion? You know, would he be the bat ambassador? Or is the Valorant Legion's ambassador the person who founded the Valorant Legion? The people or person that we don't know who founded a Valorant Protocol. It's still up to for, uh, it's still up for debate. We don't know who founded the Valorant Protocol. But maybe we'll start finding out who founded the Valorant Legion if we get more into this Legion ambassador. It could be Brimstone or it could be the founder of the uh, true, true head of Valorant Legion. I'm not so sure. But I thought this was really interesting how we are now getting dossiers, uh, mystery reports of Atlas now. So yeah, I thought this was really interesting too. Oh yeah, and big shout out to the Kingdom Archives, uh, the website. You get all this stuff for like, you know, you can even save the image and stuff and listen to voicemails and stuff like raw audio files, like how we just listen to the true emotion with fades. One last thing before I let you guys go is it does look like that all the stuff over here was removed, like all the, you know, Harbor's artifacts, all the strike team people, whatever. And we now have Lotus uh, placed here on India. So now uh, that's the second map to be added to Valorant that has the Omega symbol. We know Pearl is an Omega. We know Lotus is an Omega. Every other map has the A symbol or Alpha symbol uh, indicating that they are here on Alpha Earth, our Earth. If you guys notice any super interesting like Easter eggs or relevant lore information on the new map Lotus and Valorant, uh, go ahead and tag me on Twitter and send me a picture of it or what you found and stuff because I will be uploading or I will be making a, you know, a Lotus, you know, an entire Lotus like Easter egg breakdown where I go through the entire map and find everything I possibly can 
uh, relevant to the lore or Easter eggs and stuff. So if you found anything, let me know because I might miss something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited for the lore updates on um, Fade's dossier, our Fade's voicemail, and the voice actress did a absolute amazing, incredible job. Absolutely loved it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe for notifications. If you oh my god, just rats head. <laughs> now with all that being said, chippy out.